okay this is the next video in our continuation of our like uh, aws uh, certified cloud practitioner exam questions and we are covering the question from the exam topics website so let's try to cover next 15 to 20 question which aws service can be used to decouple the application so we need to decouple the application like so it should like likely coupled uh or like there are so many services so uh, or all all applications should be like uh, independent to each other so which service we can use aws config totally wrong sql simple queue service that de definitely correct batch wrong a simple email service i'm not sure if there is any service or not so b looks correct so basically if we use like in the free cut or amazon so they are using this concept, decoupling uh, concept, like order is one application, uh, like uh, then dispatch is one application, product is one application. It's So sometimes you see like you can place the order, but like uh, some another service is down, but you can place still place in the order. So one application is can like uh, not depend upon each other. So these are the like decouple. So in the between, they are using the queue. So one, one, one application is done its work. It is sending the message to to the queue, and when the other application will be up, it will read the message from the queue. So using the queue, we can decouple the applications. Which disaster recovery option is the least expensive? So that is the least expensive. So disaster recovery means like uh, if any disaster, sure your application is running, any disaster will happen. So how you will recover your application? So one option is like uh, you can always take a backup and if anything wrong happen, then you can restore from your backup. So one option is this. One option is like warm standby. Warm standby means like uh, you can run two applications in a parallel and uh, one application on a standby mode. So no traffic is coming. It is just, it's just a standby. So once the first application go down, we will switch to the another. Uh, Multi-site uh, or multi-site means like two, two applications are running and both are active uh pilot light uh, i'm not sure like about this so but the least expensive is the backup and restore so just take the backup and do the restore even if you go to the options so one people give uh, some diagram link uh let's see yeah so fine disaster recovery options in the cloud so we have these options backup and restore pilot light bomb standby and multi-site uh, so backup and restore just took the backup. It took hours to restore. Pilot light, it took tens of minutes. Warm standby it takes some minutes. Multi-site is a real time. Both the like uh, sites are like uh, have each a replica of each other. So, but the this is the most expensive multi-site because in which two systems has to be run. So definitely these are expensive. And backup and restores are like uh, least expensive. And in the question, we have to give the least expensive. Which type of AWS storage is e formal? E formal means and is deleted when an image and is to transit stop. E formal means like uh, it can be deleted anytime. So as soon as we will store the data, if EC2 instance will terminate, our data will also, also lose. So only one option is there that is the instance store. So instance store, because these are not the external like uh, storage. It, attached with the EC2. So if EC2 terminated, the storage also terminated. So option B is correct. Which of the following the characters is the AWS account root user? So what is the characters of the root user? The root user is the only user that can be configured with MFA wrong. We can even like uh, use the another, we can even apply the MFA on all the users. So if this is wrong, the root, uh, the root user is the only user that can access the AWS console totally wrong. Root user can access the AWS console, but the other user can also access the console. Like console means like basically AWS cloud portal. The root user is the first sign in identity that is available when an AWS account is created. So this is correct. So when you create the account, so the first account created is the root account. So option C is correct. They give B, but the most voted answer is C. So B is wrong, C is correct. And the fourth option is the root user has a password that cannot be changed. It's totally wrong. If we forget the password, we can change that password. So next question is the company host an application on Amazon EC2. So their application running on EC2. The EC2 instance need to access several AWS resources. So EC2 has to access some resources. So basically one service needs to access the another service. So what is the most 
operationally efficient solution to create an im role with the required permission attach the role to the, so definitely correct so basically if we need to access any service then we need to create a user im user and to that user we will give the permission if any service any service mean like ec2 service has to access the s3 so then we need to use our we need to create a role so we need to create an im role and that role need to be attached with the ec2 stand so first option is correct so create an im role with the required attach the role with the administrative im user so totally wrong so we need to attach the uh, role with the ec2 stand so these two options are wrong we don't need to create a user we just need to create a role option a is correct So let's see next. Okay. What is this? Okay. So let's see next question. Which of the following is the component of the AWS global infrastructure? So what is the global infrastructure? Alexa, totally wrong. Light sale is one of the portal organization. Also region. Regions are the global. So AWS regions. What is the purpose of having an internet gateway? So when we created the VPC, so there is an internet gateway as well, like subnet internet gateway. So if VPC has to connect with the public internet, public internet means like maybe facebook.com, let's suppose. So it has to connect using the internet gateway. So that is the function of the internet gateway. So to create a VPN connection now, to allow communication between the VPC and the internet. So this is correct. So B is correct. Which AWS service uh, allows user to download security and compliance reports? Okay. So if you need to download some kind of reports, like uh, some compliance reports from the AWS, so all the reports are present on the AWS artifactory. So it's AWS. So Shield is to prevent DDoS attack security. Hub is to uh, will like consolidate tell about the AWS security guard to pull, like to detect the malware. So artifact is a repository you can say where they have the compliance documents. So C is correct. A pharmaceutical company operates infrastructure in a single AWS region. So they are on a, in the single AWS region. The company has thousand of VPC okay in a various AWS account and it wants to interconnect. So if thousands of VPC wants to interconnect, there are only two options. That the one is the VPC pairing attach one first VPC to second, second to third and first to third. So a kind of a like mesh. And there is a, which AWS service or feature should be company used to reduce the operational cost. And there is a one more like we can attach all the VPC in the star topology. So there is a one a kind of a router in between and all the VPC will connect to that router rather than one VPC connect with directly to the another VPC. So one is the VPC peering, so it will be like a kind of a mesh and the operation over overload is very high. But transit gateway, transit gateway is a kind of a star topology. So this is like easy. A direct connect to connect uh, node the VPC to VPC, it's the own premises to the uh, cloud. So transit gateway is the correct answer. So 45% people say VPC peering, VPC peering is totally wrong. Transit gateway is correct. VPC pairing is also correct, but it will increase the operational cost. It is not reduce the operational cost. So transit gateway is correct. A company is planning an infrastructure deployment to the AWS cloud. Okay. Before the deployment, the company want to cost estimate. So if they are on the own premises and they want to move to, they are thinking to move to the cloud and they just want to estimate the code so they can use the pricing calculator. So this question comes many times. So option D is correct. So let's see next question. Which AWS service of tool help to centrally manage billing and allow control access to the resources across AWS account? So if we manage so many AWS account, then we can use the concept of the AWS organization. And within the AWS organ, there is only one billing account. That is the consolidated billing. So the question is also saying, like centrally manage billing across the AWS account. So we go with the AWS organization. So B is correct. Which of the following are a major virtual private cloud resources? So when you create the VPC, what, what like exactly create? So what are the resources? So subnets and internet gateway. So within the VPC, the subnet will be created. And like if the VPC has to interact with the public internet, then it has to go with the internet gateway. So there is the internet gateway as well. So policy, bucket, group, role, ACL. So these are wrong. So subnet and the internet gateway, B is correct. A company needs to identify the last time 
that a specific user access the AWS console, which AWS service. So we can use the cloud trail. So cloud trail is a kind of a service. If you access any API in the uh, like uh, in the AWS, you can go to the cloud role and check the event history who has access. Let's suppose you spin up one EC2 instance and someone has terminated the EC2 instance. Now you want to check who terminated the EC2 instance. So just take the ID of the EC2 instance, go to the cloud trail, go to the logs, put that ID and it will tell you who is the user who terminated and at what time he terminated. So we want to check the last time when the user has accessed the console so we can go with the cloud trail. So rest are the wrong option like Cognito is just to store the like a user credential for the mobile applications, inspectors to security assessment, guard, guard duties to uh, detect the malware. So cloud trail is the correct answer. A company launched an EC2 instance with the amazing Linux. So they have the they have spin up the EC2 but with the Linux Linux operating system. Which action can a system administrate? To? So now the spin of the EC2, but we want to connect with that EC2, basically uh, go to the terminal. So how we can connect? We need to choose the two options. Use Amazon EC2 instance connect. So that is correct. So if within the AWS console, there is a connect option. So we can uh, directly connect with that. RDP, RDP is wrong because this is a Linux. RDP is uh, uh, connect with the Windows server. So this is AWS batch is totally wrong. Session manager. So session manager also connects. So we done this practically one of the video. So session manager is like without opening the port 22, we can connect with the EC2. So use image and connect so wrong. A and D looks okay. They said A and C, A and C are wrong, but A and D are correct. So A and D are correct and these are the most voted. A company wants to perform sentiment analysis, sentiment analysis and customer service email message. Sentiment analysis, analysis like uh, what are the customer sentiment like whether these positive sentiments or negative sentiments. The company want to identify whether the customer service engagement is positive or negative. So customers are sending some emails. They want to read those emails and just by reading those emails, they want to do the sentiment analysis. So they are not going to manually read the email. So they can just root, uh, go with the one service. So which service they can use? Text track. So text track wrong. So text extract is like you have some image and on that image some text is written then you have to extract the text so that we can use translate just to translate from english to hindi for german comprehend and reco recognition is to just recognize some some like person within the images comprehend is like a comprehend is the correct answer even if we go with the elimination option so company comprehend is work on the natural language processing and if we do the sentiment analysis we have to do the natural language processing so option c is correct So next question, what is the total amount of the storage offered by the Amazon S3? So on the Amazon S3, we can do unlimited storage. So there is no lim limit. So this is the unlimited. On the free trial, we are using free trial. Like uh, free trial means not a free trial. Basically, till how much storage you don't need to pay. I think that is 5 TB or 5 GB. I'm not sure. But uh, it is the question is not related. So let me check AWS free trial. So 5 GB. Huh? So I mean, 5, 5, 5 GB is free, but the question is not about the free. It's the how many major S3 storage you can use. So unlimited. So unlimited you can use. A company is migrating to a major S3. The company need to transfer 60 terabyte of data from an on premises data center within to AWS within 10 days which AWS service the company should use. Okay. So they said Amazon S3 Glacier totally wrong. It is not a service. It is just to store the data. It is not a migration service. Then the second option is a database migration. So it is a database migration service. We are not migrating the database. We are just migrating the data, which is like to the Amazon S3. If, if the question is said that like, uh, uh, like you are running the Oracle in the uh, on premises and you want to move the data to the RDS, then we can go with the database migration. But it is not a database. It is just a normal data. It could be like audio, video, anything. So AWS Snowball and direct connecting just to connect the on premises to the uh, 
uh, cloud and that will take time but it is a very huge data 60 tb and uh, time is less so the snowball snowball we can like use uh, to collect the data in uh, some device and transfer to the aws so snowball looks correct for me which type of database is amazing so dynamo db is like no sql database so no sql is the key value so key value is the correct answer a large organization has a single AWS account. What are the advantage of reconfiguring the single AWS account into the multiple? So organization has only one account. So what is the advantage if we split in if we split the single account into multiple AWS account? It allows the administrator isolation different different workloads. So uh, correct. So if we have the different AWS account, one account we can give to the developers, one account we can give to the testers. So we can like uh, uh, differentiate the workloads. Uh, discount can be applied quarterly basis, so totally wrong. So no discount can be applied. Trans transitioning object from Azure S3 to S3 relation in a separate, so no. It's less expensive, no. so nothing added to the cost. Having multiple account reduce the risk. So definitely correct. So if one account can impact it, so the other will be safe. So A and D looks uh, okay to me. They said A and C, but the most voted are A and D. So A and D are correct. Let's see. So yeah, A and D are correct. A retail company has recently migrated its website. So it's a website to AWS. The company want to ensure it is protected from the SQL injection. So it is a website. So generally websites are prone to the SQL injection, but they want to protect it. Uh, the website use an application load balancer to distribute traffic to the multiple EC2 instance, which AWS service or feature can be used to create a custom rule that block SQL injection. Okay. Security group totally wrong in the security group. Nothing related to the like SQL injection prevention. Uh, WF like uh, uh, kind of like a website of firewall only. Uh, web web kind web application firewall so in the web application firewall we can we can create a sql custom custom uh, roles which will prevent the sql attack network is here for the subnet aws to prevent the ddos even if we go the elimination only one option less aws web so b is correct so there is a one link uh, so let me show you that link So SQL injection attack rule statement. So it's come under the WAF. So an SQL injection rule statement inspect the malicious SQL code. Attacker insert SQL into the web request in order to do this. So basically we can like uh, create some rules like SQL custom rules and that will prevent the SQL attack. And the same question about uh, this only. Like uh, uh, we want to prevent from the SQL injection attack. So can we create a custom, a custom rule? So yes, using the AWS WF. So that's it. Uh, so that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.